you know the drill. You've plucked up the courage to put together a video, you've made yourself presentable and you've started recording and you're getting into your flow when all of a sudden your phone cuts out and tells you that there's not enough storage space. So you have a bit of a fiddle, you delete some crap, you delete some apps that you're not using anymore so that you can free up some storage space and start recording again. But now you've got two pieces of video that you need to put together and you don't want to be faffing about. So if you want to edit your videos on your phone in a really easy way, then this video is for you. Let me show you how. So the app that I use is CapCut. It's a really simple app to use. And if you've ever used any editing software, then it's going to be pretty intuitive for you to be able to uh, edit all of your content. So all you need to do is press on new project and it's going to open up your uh, camera roll and find the videos and the content that you want to pull together. So if you've got lots of little clips like I have, uh, then we can start to add pieces in. So if I just put these two in, for example, you can put images and all sorts in. So as you can see now, uh, we've got some video on the top of the screen and we've got this down here, which is the video player. Now I find this a lot easier to use um, with, uh, what are those things called? Uh, the magic wandy things that you use for screens. I don't even know what they're called, but anyway, I use one of them. So you can click edit and it's going to highlight the piece that you want and you can drag the end to trim the ends. You could split that piece of um, video and then highlight that piece and then perhaps delete that bit. You can add audio, you can add stickers, but the really, really good bit is you can add auto captions. OK, so if you click on the add auto captions, it's going to start generating the captions for you, which you can then edit. So they come up down the bottom here. And if I click on that little one, you can see it's now on the screen. And if I just pinch, if I just tap on it, I can make it bigger, I can slant it around, turn it around, all those kind of things. So I can pop those across there. Um, and there's a little button there that you can edit them as well. So if I click on the edit button, it's going to bring up all the various different fonts that I want to use or could use. Again, if you're using them for uh, captions, it's probably best to keep them fairly straightforward. I can click on the various styles that I want. So I can have a yellow background with black text. I can change the color of the canvas to gray. I can change the text to white. Uh, so you can change all of these bits and pieces here. You've got effect, you've got bubbles. Uh, so you could have it there. You could use some animation if you want to. Uh, so it all starts to fly in and get a bit sexy. So it's totally up to you what you want to do with that there. So you can now edit those. You can also obviously edit the actual text. So if you need to um, copy it, you can click on this little copy button down here. Um, and if you want to edit it, then you can literally start to edit here. Yeah. Click on the little button and then we head along to where it now splits. Now, if I click on the little button in the middle here, then I can start to use some transitions. So things will flip uh, and all of that kind of jazz. So I can start to play around with everything that I've got here. Um, deleting sections, I can, add, like I say, add text or do whatever. So it's really, really good um, and really, really simple to use. Now you will get an ending at the, the bottom that says uh, cap cut on it like this. Uh, but once you've actually exported it to your phone, you can still trim the back end and take that off if you want to. So then you need to just click on the export at the top 
and it's going to export it into your phone. Once it's in your phone, you can do whatever the hell you like with it.